Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Minasan, Namaskar and uh, welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. So, in our previous class, we did particle they and how to use particle they in different ways and make our uh, conversation better. There are many other ways you can use particle they, which I will not do today of course, I will do it later. Today I want to do something else with you which is quite interesting also. Uh, I want to do some uh, restaurant expressions. When you go to a restaurant, what does the waiter say to you? How does he take your order? What should be your response when you order food? So all those polite and honorific and uh, humble expressions we are going to do today. But uh, before that, as we always do, I want you to listen to this conversation because that will make your hearing also very strong. There are a lot of uh, um, expressions that you might have heard. They may be a little familiar to you. Some may not be familiar. Some may be absolutely uh, new. So let us see what we have here for you and uh, listen to the conversation. <laughs> お待たせしました。お飲み物はいかがですか。とりあえずコーチャーとレモンティー彼にライスはついてますね。かしこまりました。確認します。エビパスタ so you just heard the conversation and as I said, you would be familiar with a few expressions that have been used here. For example, look at the kaiwa here. Irashaimase, namme sama desu ka? So irashaimase is an expression which is used generally at shops or restaurants or supermarkets or places like this where you enter some place and somebody welcomes you. Basically it means welcome. So generally in Japan you will have somebody standing near the main entrance, some girl will be standing or some person will be standing and they will welcome you by saying irashai mase. Now if someone comes to your house Generally, you would not say irashaimase. You would say welcome. Dozo irashite kudasai. So, expressions of welcome for shops and restaurants and malls is different from what you would use at home. Now, nam me sama desu ka? Now, this is the first thing that a person inside the restaurant, the waiter probably, would say nam me sama. May over here, I will do later also, but May is for counting. Nam May Sama. Sama is polite for sun. 
then yonin desu. So, he gives the counting, the number and he says yo nin. Nin as we have done earlier is the counter for people. And what does the person who is in the shop says or employee of the shop or the waiter over there says kochira e dozo. Now, kochira is a polite word for koko, for place. Kochira e dozo, please come this way. Dozo. So, giving permission to follow him. And then after 5 minutes, omata se shimashita. Now, o as you know is honorific like in o namai. So, omata se shimashita. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Again, o nomimono. You have done this nomimono, you have done the Kanji also for nomimono, something to drink. So, when you are talking to your customer, you do not know the person, then what is the honorific that you are going to put over here? That is O, as you saw with Omatase Shimashita. Nomimono wa ikaga desu ka? Ikaga is polite for do desu ka? So, Rao san says, Toriaizu, first and foremost, first of all, kocha to remon tea, futatsu zutsu onegai shimasu. So now over here he is using this word toriaizu. What does toriaizu mean? First and foremost, kocha to remon tea, futatsu zutsu. Please two each because there are four of them. So two each onegai shimasu. He could have also used o kuda sai. That would also be correct, but generally the phrase or the word used is onegai shimas. That please get this for me. It's a request. And okudasai would just say please give it to me. A very, very direct request. So, because you don't know the waiter, so well, onegai shimas. And wakarimashita, we did in our last lesson only with shirimashita. Or shitte imas. So, can you use this over here? No, you cannot because tenin has understood now what they want. And he says, sugu omochi shimas. I will get it as quickly as possible. I will get it immediately. Now, after two or three minutes, he comes back again. Kocha to remonti o dozo. And please remember that the intonation is rising because he has got the things that you wanted. So, he is putting it in front of the people. Now, go chumon wa okimari desu ka? Again, you will see chumon is order that you would make at the restaurant and go is honorific again like in go jusho, go jusho. So, again go is honorific over here. So, here also you can see Goju show because again it is Tenin and Rao san, they are customers, so he needs to be very polite. O kimari desu ka? Again, there is O over here, so the waiter is being very, very polite. So, O kimari desu ka? Kimari is have you decided? Now, again, Rao san is also being very polite, so Rao san puts another question and he is saying, O susume. Susume is what do you recommend? So, what is special at your restaurant? So, Tenin says, Kyo no special menu wa chicken curry to ebi pasta desu. He can also use ni over here, which means in. In today's special menu, chicken curry and ebi pasta is there. So, you already know. So, the next part is, ja ebi pasta mitsu. So, chicken kare hitotsu onegai shimasu. Mitsu is three and hitotsu is one. Rao san asks the tenin, kare ni rice wa suite mas ne? So, intonation is rising. He could have said mas ka, but he uses ne. Thus, because you are not putting a question mark, 
the intonation is rising with particle ne. Kare ni rice wa suite imasu ka? Meaning, is it there with rice? Kashikomarimashita. So, over here, this is another typical phrase that the waiter is going to use. I have understood. And we are going to deal with this later in our lesson. Kakunin shimasu. I will just ask and see. And what is he going to see? That if rice is there with the meal or not. So, maybe he nods his head, maybe he just could have said hi also over here and then he continues with kakunin shimasu. So, I am going to ask you again and repeat the order. Kakunin is I will check now. So, ebi pasta mitsu to chicken kare hitotsu desu ne. That is you have ordered three ebi pasta and one chicken curry. So, Rao san says, so this. Nampun gurai ka karimasu ka? So, gurai is approximately time how much time it is going to take. Kakarimas means it is going to take. Kakaru is the verb. Kakaru. Nampun gurai. Approximately how much time? it is going to take to bring all this to us. Shosho o machi kudasai. So, you have done this also. Shotto matte kudasai. Expression polite is shosho o machi kudasai. We just did it in our previous lesson. Nijuppun gurai desu. So, he asks somebody and he says nijuppun gurai desu. Rao is daijobu desu. That's all right with us. After 20 minutes, everything comes and Tenin says, Omatase shimashita again. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Omatase shimashita. Chicken kare to ebi pasta mitsu. So, these are the two things that you had ordered. So, chicken kare to ebi pasta mitsu. Dozo go yukkuri meshi agatte kudasai. Again, you see an honorific over here. Yukkuri is slowly. So, before yukkuri go, because again he is talking to his customers. So, he says, after serving, dozo, go yukkuri. Please enjoy your meal. Meshi agatte kudasai. Meshi agaru. Meshi agaru means taberu. So, polite honorific for taberu is Meshi agaru and kudasai is please. So, please enjoy your meal. That is what it means. Meshi agatte kudasai. Please eat your meal. So, after eating, Rao san says, okai ke onegai shimasu. That is, please get the receipt. Again, on refik. He could have said kai ke onegai shimasu, but generally, okai ke onegai shimasu. And Tenin says, domo arigato gozaimashita. Mata irashite kudasai. Please come again. So, this is your uh, kaiwa. This is all in the script. There are a few kanjis which you will be able to do. So, try to do those at home on your own. Look up the dictionary as well. Now, why I am not showing you the passage is because your listening will also improve. So, now we will do what was there in detail. Irashai, I have told you, Namme sama desu ka, yonin desu, kochira e dozo. So, you can see she is pointing in this direction, in this direction and saying, come this way please. Arigato. Now, omatase shimashita, we have already done. Toriaizu is what I want to do with you first and foremost. So, before that we have mei and mei is used for counting people and sama is polite for sun. It is used generally at shops and restaurants where you need to count people and the most common expression that is used is nam me sama desu ka. The counter for people is nin. So, nan, we have done this also, nan nin desu ka. 
whatever the noun over here, gakse, sensei, okasan, kodomo tachi, nan nin desu ka. Now, there was a word toriaizu in the passage and we are going to do it now. It means to begin with, in the beginning, in the meantime. So basically what does in the meantime mean? It means that you are having a discussion and you are unable to decide what to do. So while we are deciding, tori aizu, let us do this. It is also uh, written in hiragana and also in kanji. And uh, now let us see the sentences and see how it is used. So you have this person here and he says, Onomimono wa ikaga desu ka? As was there in the conversation. And he says, Tori aizu, biru onegai shimasu. So, nani o tabemasu ka? Menu o mite kara kimemasu. After I have seen the menu, I will decide. Kimeru is decide. This conversation is between friends. So, ja, tori aizu. Nomimono wo tanomimashou. So while we are deciding, let us first order something to drink. So the waiter is there and uh, A-san says, Sumimasen, tori aizu, biru o kudasai. Please get beer for us as we are still deciding. So when you use tori aizu, then it means that something else is going to follow. This is only for the time being. Over here also you can see, kaette kara tori aizu, shawa o abimasu. The first thing that I do after returning is I take a shower. So you can see from the example that when one is not sure or is not fully decided as to what to do, then the meaning is to start with or you could also say, let us begin somewhere, start somewhere. So I have more sentences for you and it will be easy to understand. Tori aizu, kore o yatte mimashou, for now. So there is a discussion going on during a meeting. Someone says something, someone says something and they are not coming to a consensus. So somebody will say, okay, tori aizu, kore o yatte mimashou. Let's try this for the time being. Let's do this for the time being. Tori aizu is generally used at the beginning. So, tori aizu biru o onegai shimasu. As you saw in the conversation. So now, tori aizu tabete kara ha o migaite kudasai. So, maybe you are at the bureauing at the hospital and the doctor is telling you about taking care of your teeth. So, tori aizu tabete kara ha o migaite kudasai. So after you have eaten, please, the first thing that you need to do is to brush your teeth. First thing. Then, tori aizu, hapyo no junbi o shita hou ga ii. So you are preparing for your rombun hapyo, you are busy, but you also have other things on your mind. So your friend probably says, forget everything. Tori aizu, hapyo no junbi o shita hou ga ii. Let's see where to put your laptop, how to connect it, whether the PowerPoint is all right or not, is there any mistake, everybody is coming. So before thinking about other things, please concentrate on fixing your hapyo, how you are going to present it. Now this is a different usage of toriaizu. Your boss is telling you to do something, your teacher is telling you to do something, you are not very confident, but they are insisting or you yourself want to do it. So you perform that action, you do whatever is asked of you and probably are unable to do it well. So then what do you say? Tori aizu, yatta kedo yoku dekina katta. Well, I tried my best, I tried, I did what I could, but maybe could not do it well. Tori aizu yatta kedo. There are times when you try very hard, you are not sure, but still you try and then you feel okay. Maybe I could have done better. Tori aizu, first and foremost. 
So, tried meaning is also there over here or something is very difficult but you want to try it and see. So, tori aizu yatte mimasu. It's a little difficult. Muzukashi kedo tori aizu yatte mimasu. So, tori aizu can be used in different ways. Now, there was another word zutsu in the conversation and zutsu means each or each time or little by little gradually. So, it is a suffix and is used for counting, for measuring something. There is this picture where you have roses, you have lily and again roses all over and this is a flower shop. You go over there and what do you say? Kore to, kore to, kore, ippon, one stem, ippon, zutsu, one each. Onegai shimas. Pon is the counter for long cylindrical objects. So, this is a long stem, a long stem. So, well, ippon zutsu onegai shimas. One each. Now, you can see from here as well. Kanojo wa ippon bara no hana to ippon yuri no hana o kure. Mashita. Kure mashita is written over here for space. I just used kureta which is same in meaning but this is more informal and this is normal mass form. So, kanojo wa ippon one bara no hana to and one yuri no hana o kureta. Now, kureta I am going to do later also. So, concentrate on this part at the moment. Kureta means to give. We have done it with agemas, watashi wa agemas, watashi wa muraimas and someone kuremas to me. So, that is humble. So, we will do it in detail later at the moment over here. So, how will you use zutsu? Kanojo wa watashi ni to me. Bara to yuri no hana o ippon zutsu one each kure mashita or kure ta. Kanojo is girlfriend, so kure ta is used. She gave it to me. Now you can also show division with zutsu. Minna koko ni tatte kudasai. Please stand over here. Egumi koko ni tatte kudasai. B gumi koko ni tatte kudasai. So, A gumi is A group over here and B group over here. This you already know. So, minasan A gumi to B gumi ni wakarete kudasai. Please divide into two groups, A group and B group. Now, how will you use zutsu? Minasan gonin zutsu, five each. Gonin zutsu no, five each no, A group to B group ni wakarete kudasai. So, please divide into A group and B group of five each. Is it alright? So, this is how you will use zutsu, basically meaning each. Now, to show little by little, how will you do that? Gradually, slowly. So, keki o tsukuru toki, when you are making cake, Kona wa skoshi zutsu irete kudasai. Please put floor very, very slowly, little by little. You did this kanji also, skoshi over here like this. So, skoshi zutsu irete kudasai. Another one, kona o neru toki, when you are kneading dough, when you are mixing floor and making dough out of it. So, kona o Neru toki, mizu wa skoshi zutsu, little by little, ireta hoga i. So, if you add lot of water in floor, it is going to become very loose. So, you want exact correct consistency. Then, mainichi goko zutsu, five each, goko zutsu, kanji wo benkyo shimashou. Let us study five kanjis every day. 
and co you did in your previous lecture. So, counting irregular objects, so 5 kanjis every day or mainichi goko zutsu kanji o benkyo shita ho ga i. It would be better if you study or read or learn 5 kanjis every day. Another one over here, mainichi jukko zutsu, 10 each. Nihongo no atarashi tango o oboite kudasai. Please learn 10 Japanese words, new Japanese words every day. Tango is vocabulary. Now, today the conversation is a little long. Kocha to remon tio dozo. Please have. Gochu mon wa okimari desu ka? I already told you. Mada desu. So, we will just do this. O susume wa, what do you recommend? Kyo no special menu ni chicken kare to ebi pasta desu. So desu ka? Or so ka? Ja ebi pasta mitsu o negai shimasu. So shite, kanojo wa ebi tabenai no de chicken kare hitotsu o negai shimasu. She is not going to have, so please give hitotsu chicken kare. Kare ni rice wa suite masu ne. Kare ni rice, this is a typical way with kare basically meaning is with with kare we have rice isn't it rice is complementary or rice is there with kare hai so this so he says that's correct so now you can see gochumon onegai shimasu so he comes over here and asks him what is your order please can i take your order or he could say, Nomimono wa ikaga desu ka? He does not know what he is going to order, whether food or just something to drink. So, he can also say, the waiter can also say, Nomimono wa ikaga desu ka? Ikaga is do, as I told you earlier. Now, there was a word, mada. How will you use mada in sentences? Mada means not yet, and it can be used with verbs and nouns both. So, let us see. Sensei wa class ni modorimashita ka? Has sensei returned to the class? So, he was there. He went out and now is he back? Iie mada desu. Means not yet. Or mada kite nai. He has not come as yet. So, who is, who is saying this? Gakusei. Because they are in class. And only then they can say kite nai. Another one is there, very, very informal between haha and mira, that is okasan and mira. Mira oni san wa doko? Heya ni iru. He is in the room. Nani o shite iru no? So, with no intonation is rising. And very, very informal at home conversation. Nani wo shiteru no? What is he doing? So, she says, Oni san wa mada nete iru yo. He is still sleeping. Oni san, she could remove from here and just say, Mada nete iru yo. He is still sleeping. So, yo over here, this particle, it is a sentence ending particle and is used generally with people younger to you or in very, very informal uh, situations. So, over here mother and daughter are talking. So, she can say yo. Yo you will not use with your seniors. Please keep that in mind. Then we have two madas over here. Mada mada. So, what is that? Nihongo ga jozu desu ne? Somebody says jozu desu ne? To you. You of course will not say yeah, I am very good at it. So, if you are uh, Japanese and as you are learning Japanese now, so even if you are very good at it, you will say, Iye, mada mada desu, I am still learning. So, Japanese are very, very humble and polite. Now, there is another one here, kashikomarimashita. We are going to do this right away. I have already done all the explanation. We will do kakunin shimas over here very, very quickly. So, you can see over here she is writing and 
checking the order and over here she is asking what this is. So, whatever I have ordered is it this thing and the waitress says yes that is what it is. Then omata se shimashita. So, when you get the order generally that is the phrase that you will use with your okyaksan. Omata se shimashita. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Now, there was this word kashko marimashita. As I said at restaurants in formal situations generally the Japanese use honorifics honorific expressions to people who are older in age in rank so generally polite expressions are used you just saw o being used and go being used before certain words now kashko marimashita as it is pronounced is actually polite for vakarimashita we did it last time also with Shiteimas. So, kashkomari mashta is polite for vakari mashta. I have understood. So, now look at this one. Sumimasen, todai akamon made onegai shimas. So, please take me till the red gate, which is very, very famous of todai, which is Tokyo University. Kashkomari mashta. So, this thing is happening where in a taxi so the driver says kashkomari mashita i have understood i have to take you there but then he says michi wa karimasu ka do you do you know the route so hai masugu itte kudasai riban me no kosaten kara migi ni magatte kudasai so masugu is straight itte kudasai please go straight niban me the second kosaten which is crossing kara from there migi ni magatte kudasai please turn towards your right so kashi komari mashita i have understood now there was another word here sugu and sugu means right away immediately sugu yarimas so somebody tells you Sumimasen, chotto kore yatte kudasai. Ah, wakarimashita. Sugu yarimasu. I will do it right away. Then, eki wa sugu chikaku ni yarimasu. So, in your previous conversation where the taxi man says kashikomarimashita and the lady says kosaten kara migi ni magatte kudasai. Sugu soko ni arimasu. Immediately over there you will see the wherever she wants to go. It is right there. Then, mosugu rokuji ni narimasu. Very soon, it is going to be 6 o'clock. And also, sugu yatta hoga ii. It is better that you do it immediately. So, different ways of using sugu. And some places, it means immediately. Some places, it means I will do it now. Some places, right away more emphatically and there are other ways also which we will do in our later lessons. Now, there are some kanjis for you which I want to do. There is this kanji you have done which means ue up and this is 3 over here and like this. This is te meaning hand. So, when you join the two, what does it become? Jozu. You have an upper hand at something. So, Jozu. Jozu means good at or skilled at something. Also, this kanji means to go up. Agaru. To go up. Ageru and agaru. Also, it has another meaning which means to give agete kudasai ageru then there are similar looking kanjis over here this is up you have done ue and 
this kanji you have done in doyobi another reading is suchi which is soil so very similar up and suchi over here you can see don't confuse then we just now did te this has three and this one is tell me you have done this one sen so this has three lines and this has two lines in horizontal over here just see this is te and this is sen and then there is another one here because we did this migi ni magatte kudasai so this is migi and this kanji similar to migi is ishi the difference is over here so this part is not there once again for you this one and this one over here migi and ishi now i have a kotowaza for you with ishi which i am not going to do today i am going to do in our next lesson you can look up the net and see and it's a very famous kotowaza now just to revise very very quickly irashaimase welcome kochira e dozo please come this way gochu mon onegai shimas please give me your order omatase shimashita sorry to have kept you waiting kakunin shimas i will just repeat once again check again kashikomarimashita polite for wakarimashita dozo go yukkuri please enjoy go slowly also it means and mata irashite kudasai please come again now there is vocabulary here i will just read it out aloud for you to get the pronunciation ageru kaike kaike is receipt get the bill irashaimase slightly rising intonation then meshiagaru and as i told you meshiagaru is polite for taberu and then okyakusan you already know mise no hito tenin then kakunin suru is to check once again chumon order kochira over here polite for koko then toriaizu we did in detail sugu also we did in detail machimas is a verb you know harau is again verb in dictionary form machimas is matsu then susume is uh, recommend kimaru something gets decided kimeru is to decide and yukkuri is slowly or gradually so with this i would like to finish our class today there are a lot of new words lot of new things new expressions restaurant expressions what you should say how you should respond to them what the waiter is expected to say to you or to the customer you have learned today and uh, i hope when you go to japan you will feel more comfortable and as you all watch animation so you'll hear a lot of this some point or other so till our next class arigatou gozaimashita mata aimashou